Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hasra. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why under most circumstances, you should say less than necessary. Now, you must be thinking that this is such a generic topic and you must have heard this advice or read about it on various platforms. And I'm going to be honest, I thought the same when I thought of making this video because this is such a general advice and most people already know that listening is a lot more important than talking. But I still wanted to make this video because if we were already following this advice, then we would be living in a perfect ideal world. World, all the relationships that we'll have would be perfect but unfortunately that is not the case so i think that this still needs to be said and heard so i'm gonna say it One of the best things that you can do for yourself professionally as well as personally is to improve on your interpersonal skills and working on listening more is one great way to start. I believe that everyone out there, be it younger or elder, they have some valuable information that can help you to achieve your goals faster. But you cannot get that valuable information from them till you talk to them and genuinely make an attempt to listen to what they have to say. A lot of times when we are listening, we nod and that often shows the other person that we're actually paying attention to them. But are we actually doing that or are we just secretly thinking about how to respond once the statement of the other person is finished? Because that is not actual listening. That is not active listening. That is in fact a way of fooling the other person into thinking that you are paying attention to them and that you are an active listener when you're really not. It is true that you appear wiser than you are when you are simply listening to other people and not talking too much. This is because when you are talking too much, the chances of you getting carried away and saying something stupid or hurting others are a lot more. When you use your words wisely, then it gives you a lot more control over yourself and the other people around you. And the more you listen to other people, the more you're gonna learn about their journey. And of course, you will save a lot of energy, time and effort that can be used in doing other more important things. You must have heard that listening is the first step to effective communication. Because when you are genuinely listening, you get to understand the perspective of the other person. There are no assumptions involved. So you can have the time to align your thoughts in the right direction and then structure your words so that you can be an excellent communicator. If people come to you with their problems, be it at work or in personal relationships, then all you actually need to do is to listen to them. Because chances are that a lot of people will accidentally or subconsciously tell the solution to their problems. And if you are genuinely paying attention to what they have to say, then you won't have to think hard about what the other person is actually looking for. And from what I have observed, when people come to me for finding a solution to their problems, then most of the times all they need is two good ears to listen Listen to what they have to say and they're not really looking for a solution from me they already know what they want and what they're gonna do in life in public settings or social gatherings you must have noticed that the one person who talks too much or someone who has way too much to share about his or her experiences is often the person who does not come across as very intelligent and people eventually lose interest in that person on the other hand the person who keeps a gentle smile on his or her face gives you a chance to share your story and ask follow-up questions is the person who seems to be a lot more intelligent, chances are that you will be looking forward to speaking to that person again. With that being said, I do not suggest that you create a virtual barrier. Instead, I want you to be genuinely interested in what the other person has to say, listen to their stories, learn from them, and then only share what you absolutely have to. It may seem like the person who's doing all the talking is leading the conversation, but it's often the other way around. There are all all kinds of people in this world and some of them love getting into arguments. People would nudge you and push you to argue with them or twist your words to create a gossip or a rumor against you. So it's best to starve those people and only speak when you absolutely need to. And when you are listening more, you get a chance to observe more. When people are talking intensively, then they don't have enough time to think about what they're talking. And that is a great time for you to observe them because chances are that during those moments, Moments, they will be revealing their true colors to you and nobody can play a facade for too long. I'll also like to add that when you do decide to speak, 
Pay attention to the timing. In certain groups and under certain circumstances, it is just not your time to talk. Maybe it's too early for you to trust the people around you or you just don't have enough knowledge about the topic to add to the conversation. And during those times, it is your best bet to stay quiet and listen carefully. Unfortunately, in today's world, you never really know who to trust. And sometimes when you're talking too much, you end up giving other people the very valuable information that you should have kept to yourself. I hear people talk all kinds of things about their bosses and their spouses or sometimes even their parents and that always leaves a bad impression. I have come to believe that a person who does not have control over his or her tongue is not trustworthy. Another reason for you to talk less is because in today's world, words don't actually mean anything. What you show through your actions is what people are gonna see and remember you for. And words without actions are merely broken promises. Nobody needs them. With that, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you find this video useful. If so, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. On this channel, I post videos about personal development. So if this is the kind of content you're interested in, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you and take care.